Well, today we're doing something, as always, a bit different. Yes, this is different <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, we're reviewing the USA Trains Rotary Snowplow. Oh, that's cool. And it's uh, not on the market right now. I don't know if the Charles Rowe company is planning to re-release this or just what. They are on eBay. Oh, okay. And um, we've been scrambling like crazy to get the outdoor railroad ready for the winter. Yes, including the snowplow. It's <laughs> including the snowplow because it's supposed to snow in 48 hours. We'll get to try it out. <laughs> Now, if you've been sort of following along our exploits, you realize that we've had to tear the entire railroad out and start over. Ugh. And this time we're relaying it with uh, Yagas Creek track. Right. And it's, so far it's working out brilliantly. Oh, wonderful. And I've been scrambling to get the track in and the wiring in mm. and just actually finished this whole project up uh, about 48 hours ago. Right, burning the midnight <laughs> oil. Well, fortunately, the overhead lighting now works. Mm -hmm. But while it's been too cold out here to work on track or wiring or anything like that, I've been inside the garage working on projects there. And one of those projects is trying to get the rotary snow plow ready uh, for the inevitable snowstorm. <laughs> Let's just hope it's the right kind of snowstorm. Yeah, no kidding. Something that the this thing can actually deal with. Mm -hmm. Anyway, here's uh, the box. I bought this back in the 1990s. Oh my. And I did run it on my garden railroad uh, just, a, just a bit. Uh, realized that there were some significant problems with trying to blow snow with it. I would imagine. <laughs> Moreover, I just didn't like crawling around on the ground in a foot of snow. Right. Hasn't had much done with it as of yet. But it looks really cool. <laughs> it's a really neat little unit. Uh, I bought the one with sound. Oh. And uh, I opened this up uh, to look in on the sound system. Oddly enough, there's a 9-volt battery permanently glued in here. Well, that's odd. Smoke that's, detector or I what? I don't know what that thing is about, but um, I pried it out. Of course, it's deader than a doornail after 20 years, but it was really difficult to remove. But uh, all of this electrical system is all just sort of hand done. Mm. And um, that's just kind of the nature of this guy. Right. So there's a bunch of modifications that I would like to do. Right. Uh, first of all, I never put the grab irons on it. Oh. I've, <laughs> even though I've had this out of the box once or twice, but only once or twice, I've never put the grabs on. So I opened the plastic bags uh, that contain the various grab irons. Oh, look at that. And the first thing I did was go ahead and install the grab irons. Um, I still have not yet put the brake rigging on it. Aye, aye, aye. But I've got the grab irons on oh, good. there. Good. <laughs> it's always good to have a grab iron when you don't have brakes. Now, I also have wanted to add a tender to it because a rotary should have a tender. So years ago when I bought this, I also bought a spare tender for a Delton C16 uh, directly from Delton. I think they look good together. They do. Uh, but I never, I never did anything more with the project again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the the tender's been sitting in a box, um, and so I've uh, I've changed the couplers on the rotary over to a draw bar that will run that, because I want it to look a little bit more like uh, an actual rotary. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Oi! <laughs> better get those brakes on there. That'll be true. This is the one that actually operates on the Cumbers and Toltec. Now, notice that the coal load is covered up. Uh, you got to keep the snow off the coal. Oh, right. <laughs> Where this thing blows snow all over the place. <laughs> this is the business end of the rotary that throws the snow. But on the miniature one, it really doesn't have enough power running off the track voltage. So this is part of my plan. I'm converting it to battery operation. I think that makes sense. It comes already equipped with switches to turn on and off the sound system and to reverse the direction of the blades and even shut the blades off. So it's really simple. I just have to disconnect the wheel trucks, connect a battery, and now I can run the rotary at full power, uh, irrespective of what the track voltage is doing. Oh, that's cool. I thought about converting it to DCC, 
but I think it's going to be easiest to just run it on uh, lithium ion batteries. Uh, it generates the most power mm. and runs this the best. For some reason, they have it set up to dim the headlight when the rotor comes on. Uh, not sure why. That's interesting. It's, it's a little bizarre, frankly, but that's the way the electronics are set up. I'll bet that light dims so that they can see in the snow. When it's throwing snow, if it were bright, it would just be a whiteout. That could be. Uh, I wondered if the amperage from the battery is doing it, but no, it's intentional. Right, and I'll bet that's what it is. Sort of like driving with your lights on low beam during a blizzard. That could very well be. Now, of course, a rotary snowplow is not self-propelled. It has to be pushed by a locomotive. So we have called out number 346 here, RC19. I see. And we covered this a couple of Tuesdays ago. But this is a lovely, powerful little Bachmann locomotive and uh, very, very appropriate for pushing uh, Denver and Rio Grande rotary on our railroad. Isn't that cool? It's a beautiful oh, locomotive. Oh, it's beautiful. So the rotary is now equipped with a drawbar, a tender, and a Bachmann coupler. And uh, we're ready to try it out and see if it works. Neat. And it works. It does. <laughs> Look at that. So I think we're ready for the snow when it arrives here uh, in a few hours. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We've been enjoying really, really good weather up to this point, which has given us the opportunity to get the railroad ready. And I think we are now ready for the snowstorm. We can hire that guy to clear out the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, there it is. A few little things still to do. If you uh, haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel and do subscribe using the blue button coming up just about now. The blue button. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring and we will see you here on Sunday. Unless, of course, we're snowed in. Oh, that could be. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Bye-bye.